Hello and a very warm welcome to this Tarot and Oracle card review. The deck I am going to be reviewing today is Stephen D. Farmer's Power Animal Oracle Cards. It's a 44 card deck connecting you with animal spirit guides. It comes in a box with a guide. The guide explains to you how you can connect with the cards, how you can do a single card reading, or even if you want to do a three card reading, such as past, present and future. It explains how you can connect with the animals and their messages and how you can do a really deep meeting with them, reading with them. So we will look at the cards. So connecting. Now, as you connect with the cards, you will find, take the otter. You will see it's a photographic picture of an animal and on the card it clearly states the type of animal it is, the otter. Underneath the word otter is a main general meaning. On this one it says surrender and then underneath the picture it says let go of control. So you can just take a reading from that picture of the otter, take the meaning from surrender just surrender and release <clears throat> or you can just connect with the message let go of control and you can just use that one card even if you don't know anything else about the otter there is a very powerful message there it's just letting go and surrendering but if you want a deeper meaning message with the otter you turn to the guide now the animals are all listed in alphabetical order so it's quite easy to find them and when you turn to the guide you will see there is a picture of the card you will see the name and again as it said it says otter let go of control then you have the actual in-depth reading so it's telling you about letting go of control doesn't mean you're giving up etc but also at the bottom of each card description he has additional associations, sensuality, merging, family, playfulness. That is all what the otter is. You see the otter, it is playful. You see the otter, it loves being with its family. It merges with other animals. It merges into the scenery. So it's a bit of a camouflage. So you can see the deeper meaning. So that is how you can connect with the otter. You can then, once you've got it, you then take yourself on a little meditation where you could just sit and otter, bring me a message. You can use these cards in so many different ways. Let us look at another one. So we have a raven, again, another photographic image of the animal, the raven name, it's meaning magic. Yeah, it's a magical card, raven, oh yes. And then it says, own your own power. That's what the raven is all about. So again, it can you connect with the word magic. What does that mean? And then it's telling to own your own power. Yes, it's telling you step into yourself. Make sure that you do have your power and regain it from other people. So again, you turn to the guidebook. You would have a look. There's the picture, the word, the meaning, the information. And then at the end, again, it gives you additional associations. And the additional associations with the raven is shadow, insight, prophecy, shapeshifting. If you want to connect with your animal spirit guides, this is an absolutely amazing way of doing it. I absolutely love these cards. I love connecting with my spirit animal guides anyway. And we all do have a spirit animal to guide with us. So I suggest that you do a meditation to connect and find out which is your spirit guide. Or you can have an animal spirit guide a day by pulling one of these cards every day. I was give this card deck nine out of 10. I just absolutely love it. If you want to connect with your spirit animal guides, this is the deck to connect with. Take care and have a stay. Bye.